Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the importance of the super keyboard. So without wasting time, let's get started. I'm going to declare my uh, LCL underscore super class. Okay. I'll end the class. Okay, and uh, in the public section, I will declare a method as uh, get data. Okay. So I'll have my class implementation under this definition. Okay. And I'll end the class here. So I'll write my method get data its implementation. Okay. I'll write something like uh, I'll write uh, fetching data from VBAK. Okay. So this is my super class having a method get data and its implementation is written under LCL underscore super implementation. Okay. Now I will have my uh, subclass definition inheriting from LCL underscore super in class. Okay, I'll have my public section here as well. So I'll have my method. Okay, methods get underscore data redefinition. So I'm going to redefine this uh, method which is then the super class in the subclass. How do I do that? I do that you adding the keyword redefinition along with the method name. Okay, so in this case it is get data redefinition. So now I'll have my LCL underscore sub implementation okay i'll end the class here i'll have my method as get data so i'll uh, write a write statement here as uh, fetching the data from vbap in this case okay that you can write anything according to your requirement so I'm just writing for a demonstration purpose. Okay, now I'll have my start of selection event data. I'll try to uh, create an object of the subclass type ref to LCL underscore sub. Okay, now I'll create the object here object hello underscore sub. Okay, now I'll call the hello underscore sub get data. Okay, I'll check the syntax. Syntactically correct. I activate the program. And execute the same. So you can see that I'm I'm just executing the subclass uh, uh, get data method. Okay, because I've created the object of uh, subclass and I'm directly calling the get data method. So it will directly go inside this part of the code. Okay and uh, write this write statement fetching data from VBAP. Now I have a requirement. I need to get the statement which is written inside get data method of the super class as well. Okay. So how do I do that? If I need to do that, what I need to do is I can always uh, go ahead and create a, a super class ka, uh, object okay, like this. And I'll create object of LO underscore super. Okay. Now what I can do is I can call the LO underscore super get data method before calling the LO underscore sub get data method. So I'm writing this uh, super class ka get data method, and after that I'll call the uh, the uh, get data method of the sub subclass okay now i'll check the syntax activate the program execute it now you can see that uh, there is uh, there are two statements which is the first statement uh, comes from the uh, get data method of the superclass and the second statement the right statement uh, belongs to the uh, get data method of the subclass okay so my requirement is i don't want to create the object of the super class here because i already have my uh, method getting redefined in the subclass okay i don't want to again create the object of the super class 
and then call the get data method of the super class so to but i need the statement what is written in the super class get data method how do i do that so you can do the one thing okay first of all you just uh, don't want this code to be written here okay you don't want to create the object of the super class what you can do is you can just go inside the uh, redefinition of the get data method in the subclass okay and before writing your write statement the logic what you have for the subclass get data method you can always call the super class get data method with the keyword super you can access the get data method of the super class like what is written in line number 29 okay with this statement what happens is that the control goes to the super class get data method before the write statement uh, in line number 30 is executed so to show that let me check the syntax first activate the program then i'll keep a breakpoint in line number 38 and execute the program okay uh, the debugger is starting here and uh, the session is connected to the debugger okay and now i'm in line number 38 if i press f5 it takes me to the get data method of the subclass you can see very clearly that it goes inside the get data method of the subclass so now what i'm doing is i'm calling the get data method of the super class on line number 29 you can observe that okay once i execute this statement in line number 29 if you press f5 here it goes to the get data method of the super class you can see the control is gone inside the get data method of the super class okay with the, by executing the super uh, keyword okay the statement what you had before you if you execute that it goes inside the uh, super class get data method okay now i will be executing this line number 18 which is get data method of the super class okay f5 f5 again it goes back to the the control is going back to the get data method of the subclass okay now if i press f8 you can see the the first statement comes from the super class get data method and the second statement the right statement comes from the get data method of the subclass you did not have to create a super class object in this case you had uh, only the access of uh, get data method of the subclass what you did extra here is that you uh, before writing the right statement of the get data method of the subclass you you have called the get data method of the super class using the super keyword so this is the importance of super keyword in this uh, kind of situation where you need to uh, call the uh, um, super class method which has been redefined in the subclass okay so this can work this holds good only if you are redefining the method in the subclass and if you want to access the method which was in the super class which is there in the super class as well so let me see if i can access this uh, get data method okay of the super class if i have one more method in this uh, in the subclass so what i'll do is i'll try to create a method here called display and i'll try to uh, give the implementation for the same method okay now what i'll do is i'll try to call the super get data method inside the display method of the subclass okay I'll check the syntax you can observe you will be able to observe that the super you can only call the previous implementation of your own method okay what does that means is that you have to have a method redefined in the subclass okay to use the super keyword you cannot use the super keyword if this method does not exist in the super class display method here in this case does not exist in the super class you don't have a display method in the super class you have only the get data method what you can do is if you have to use the super keyword you need to have a subclass okay and you have to have this method get data getting redefined in the subclass in that case inside the method implementation of get data you can you can have a call to the super class get data method like shown here you cannot access the uh, get data method of uh, super class by using the super keyword inside the different method in the subclass so that's it guys uh, 
thank you for watching this video uh, please do like uh, comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you